For Christian Quadra, when qualifying was set, and he was third, that is his highest starting spot by a pretty sizable margin. Had to be happy, right? So then you get to look at the ladder. Okay, I qualified third. Which one of those weak dogs do I get in round number one? And then he said, why is Dallas Glenn's name next to mine? The Rad Torque, KB Chevrolet, qualified 14th. And that is very unusual. I Normally, you see Dallas up in the top, well, four or five. You know, Erica has pretty much dominated most of the stuff this year. But Dallas Glenn, well, they just simply struggle with the car. The question is, between the brain trust over there at KB Racing, have they been able to pinpoint the problem? And then have they fixed the problem? Because if they haven't, Christian Quadra is going to send them home in a hurry. Checking the wheelie bars, which is critical on the pro stock cars. When a pro stock car leaves the starting line, the wheelie bars are driving it because the front wheels are in the air. I mean, it's not like a super stock deal standing up on the bumper, but the front wheels are off the ground, and the pro stock cars stagger the rear wheels to make sure that the car leaves in a straight line. That's why they always have to double-check them after they do the burnout. Quadra left, Dallas Glenn right. Christian Quadra, double 07 reaction time. And wins it on a little baby hole shot, 6.986195. Beats Dallas, 6.983. Look at the Quadra group down there. A double 07 reaction time for Christian. Dallas Glenn was 025, which is, I believe, the third best light we've seen so far this round. But it's the right place, the right time, and kind of sport. Christian Quadra wins it. On a little baby hole shot, Dallas and his team, they fixed the car. These are the worst conditions they've run in. They just made their best run of the weekend, only to come up on the wrong end of a hole shot.